Spanning tree protocol is a really important protocol to make sure that we don't get switch loops within our network. But spanning tree protocol does introduce its own challenges in itself. It can introduce some ability for attackers to leverage spanning tree protocol to be able to carry out attacks on your network. So in this video, let's talk about spanning tree protocol and how to mitigate against uh, spanning tree protocol attacks. So in this video, we'll do a quick review over what spanning tree protocol is. We'll get into how that can be leveraged for a spanning tree protocol attack. Then we're going to get into how to mitigate against it. And it's pretty simple. It's you use port fast BPDU guard. And so we'll take a look at that configuration to wrap up this video. If you didn't have spanning tree protocol enabled on your network and you had redundant links, it could cause a lot of problems with switching loops. Switching loops are when a there's redundant links on your network. And let's say demo laptop sends out a broadcast to switch to that gets sent out all the other links. Switch one will receive that from switch two and broadcast it out all its links. Switch three will receive that from switch one and broadcast it out on all its links, all of the other ports. And not only is this going to continue in this direction, but since switch two sent it directly to switch three, it's going to happen in the other direction as well and going to only multiply. Even just a single broadcast could continue to multiply across this network. So it's really problematic with just one broadcast. Now imagine a whole network of broadcasts. So the spanning tree pro protocol has a spanning tree algorithm that elects a root bridge. And then based off of that root bridge, it finds the fastest path or the path with the least cost to the root bridge and shuts down all other paths. Now, the problem with spanning tree protocol is it does have some vulnerabilities to it. So what an attacker can do is carry out an STP attack, a spanning tree protocol attack. All the attacker needs to do is connect to a port that accepts these bridge protocol data units. That's the communication that's used to figure out who the root bridge is. And it could send it out with a very low priority and a low MAC address to guarantee itself that it will become the root bridge. Now what happens is that all of the other devices will recalculate the path towards the attacker. And the attacker can uh, leverage this for some sort of attack like a denial service attack or some other type of attack. So this one's a little more tricky to carry out, but it can be done. And there's simple, very simple ways to mitigate against this. And so we should just mitigate against this by implementing these security features. We should turn on port fast with BPDU guard. Port fast allows these ports to be brought up faster. So when a client machine connects into the network, then that port is brought up faster. But we include this BPDU guard and you can do that per port or you can do it globally on the switch for any of the port fast ports. So if you have an access port, the recommend, recommendation is to set up port fast on it. And then I like to turn the BPDU guard on from a global level. So that way, if that access port receives a BPDU, those frames that carry on, carry out that information, that spanning tree protocol information, then it gets shut down and this device won't have connectivity to that network. It will not be able to connect to the network on that port. We've actually already covered the configuration for this. This is showing you how in the global configuration mode, you can do the port fast BPDU guard default. So what this is doing is it's turning on BPDU card for any port that has port fast turned on it. And so we'd like our access ports to have this turned on. So if that's turned on, then the PBTU guard will also be in effect by default. 
you would have to specifically turn it off for it to not take effect on that. And then we go into our individual interfaces. I could do a whole range of interfaces if I wanted to and type in the spanning tree port fast. And now that will also have the BPDU guard enabled on it. So it will be protected now. Now, if an attacker joins that port, connects to that port, and tries to send out those BPDUs to create it itself as being the root bridge, it's going to get blocked. In this video, we did a real quick STP review, spanning tree protocol review. We talked about an STP attack and what that looks like and how it uses BPDUs to make that connection and try to be the root bridge of that network. And then we talked about port fast and how if you turn on port fast with BPDU guard, then we can then block that port from receiving BPDUs and eliminate this STP tack from being a, a problematic at all. And then we finished it up with some configurations.